So MedGadget, I'm here with Dr. Oz, uh, the, fa the one and only, and we're excited to see his screening results, which are going to be released soon. And we have the opportunity to ask him about what he's most excited about, about the future of healthcare and technology. Well, there are a couple of things that really get me jazzed up. Uh, with that question, is the idea that now we can actually hold our diagnostic tools in our fingers. You can walk around with a smartphone, you can get your EKG, uh, you can get your, your pulse, you can get your blood sugar pretty soon as well, and give you some early warnings about things that may be problematic, but also give you a, a fairly long, linear idea of what's happening day to day. So when you get stressed out, what's happening, when you eat the wrong things, what's happening, when you do the right things, what's happening. So you can give much more information uh, to the people taking care of you, and you have much more information about your own behaviors. Right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Oz. It's a pleasure to have you here, and thank you for what you do in Philadelphia and the entire nation. It's been a great 15-minute physical. I gotta say, the most important thing about technology is it saves time so you have more of it to share with your patients. Because looking at people eye to eye is a unique value. And too often people are writing things down and looking for stuff that's not there. That's why I love these devices. But now you got all the answers in front of you. I'll give you one other idea. We thought it that, that you can actually lead patients to the right diagnosis on their own by asking the right questions. It's always been in our minds as physicians. We now have technology, I've seen some of the Department of Defense that will allow us on web-based systems to allow almost anybody to figure out what's going on with themselves, which means we as physicians will have all that data, all those answers ahead of time, so we're not playing Columbo looking for answers, we'll be able to spend time teaching folks, which is again what the word means, you know, doctor, doctor. Doctor, yeah. Very much. Well, thank you again, Dr. Ross. Yeah,